Guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use your Casio calculator to find the mean and the five number summary for a set of scores and also for scores that are shown um, in a frequency distribution table. So first off, you need to turn your calculator on and we need to change the mode to statistics mode. So currently my calculator is in its normal mode. So I go up here to this blue button that says mode and I want to change it to, I want to press number two, which represents the statistics mode. When I'm finished, I need to put my calculator back on one, the computations mode. All right, so straight away it introduces another menu and I only have one variable. So I wanna press number one, which represents one variable. And the calculator's wanting me to enter my scores straight away. Remember that X um, represents score, a score and it's wanting me to basically put in each score here. So my first score is four. So I type in four and I press equal in between each score. Then from the question, I've got seven, one, four, whoops, not four, it's nine, two, three, and one. And even though it feels counterintuitive, now that I've finished, I want to press the clear button. The, the calculator still stored my information, um, but I need to press clearing and then go to the next screen. Now I want to um, open up the statistics menu that's um, inside this one key. And so I need to press shift first. Shift is in the same color that, the, that it's written in as this everything in yellow on your calculator. So clicking shift one for statistics. I need to find where inside this next menu I can find the mean. Now I know the symbol for mean is X bar, X with a line on the top of it. So if you can get this far, it doesn't matter if you can't remember, we can have a play around and, and figure out where it is. So let's just click number two. Okay, so that brings me back to my data menu and it's not what I want. So I just press clear again and go shift one, um, sum. Okay, so if I needed to do the sum of X, sum of the scores is here, um, I could press two. So let's click that and check. Um, I don't have zero scores, so I need to press equals. It's saying I've got 27 altogether as my sum of X. So I've got um, over here checking if I added all these up. I would have um, 4, 11, 12, 21, 22, plus 5, 27. So sure enough, that's my sum of X that the calculator's done for me. Uh, it's still not what I want. I want to find X bar. So let's go back into that stat menu. Wasn't under sum. Let's check number four. There it is x bar so i could click x bar straight away and again i have to press equals in order to to work out what the mean is and it's telling me that the mean is 3.85 or 86 if i'm giving my answer to two decimal places so i can write that down now if i wanted to do that myself i do know that the mean is the same as the sum of um x bar sorry, the sum of X, which we just worked out was 27 over the number of scores. And I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven scores. So I could have done um, the 27 from the calculator divided by seven, and I should get the same answer. So let's just check that now. 27 divided by seven. Sure enough, it equals the 3.86 that we've got for the mean. And I could have got that N from my statistics menu under four for variance here in the number of scores, but it's easy enough to read it off for this one. Now I still need to do my five number summary, which would be my um, minimum score, which I can read off is one. My maximum score, which is nine. I've got Q1, my lower quartile, Q2, the median, and the upper quartile, Q3, which I'm hoping to get from my calculator. Okay, let's go back into the Shift 1 menu and Min Max, number five will give me the Min Max. And again, I know the minimum and the maximum score. So I'm gonna just press on the three, then the four, then the five to get those, those quartiles that are missing. Um, again, I need to press equals. So it's saying my lower quartile is one and my upper quartile, my Q3, 
it's not one I need to press the equal sign again it's seven and my median is whoops the wrong one wrong menu shift one five for min max and I want to press number four the median is three all right so now I've answered everything in that question I found the mean and I've given the five number summary what do we do when the question's asking you the same thing but it's given in a frequency distribution table instead of entering all that data again um, I want to think of I want to know a smarter way to do that in my calculator so before I go into the mode menu I want to go shift setup and this arrow up here is telling me there's some more options if I scroll down on the replay button um, here's another statistics menu so I'm going to press that and it's asking if I want the frequency on or off. Now I've got a frequency column here, so I want to turn the frequency on. Now I want to go back into the stat menu and enter the new data. So this is going to, when I press the one button, is going to be empty again. Um, and that's a way of clearing the data as well as pressing shift nine to clear your calculator. So I've got a score of four, uh, five, six, seven, and eight. And you'll notice the calculator defaults to say you've got each score only one time, the frequency is one. So I want to update that based on what's in the question. Six, I've got six fours, I've got four fives, three sixes, um, two sevens, and two eights. Okay, so again, even though it feels counterintuitive, the data is saved in my calculator, so I press the clear button. And now I can go back into the Shift 1 statistics menu to find the mean, again, by pressing 2, and then pressing equals. And I'll get um, my mean of equal to 5.41 to two decimal places. And I could go through the same same um, options again to go shift one min max to read off my five number summary and i will leave you to do that